Let's start our conversation talking about diagnostic factors for knee osteoarthritis. And to be begin that conversation, let's talk about changes that we might see on a radiograph. On radiographs, osteoarthritis is characterized by changes in subchondral bone, including sclerosis or hardening, and cyst formation. You may also see osteophyte formation, bone marrow lesions, in severe cases, osteonecrosis and bone attrition, and overall joint deformity and asymmetry. There are several risk factors for osteoarthritis that you can keep your eyes peeled for. These include age, which of course, an increased age is associated with an increased risk of osteoarthritis. Females are affected more than male at a ratio about 70 to 30. Obesity is associated with increased risk of knee osteoarthritis. And patients may already have knee osteoarthritis as they start, but as they gain in weight, the disability associated with that knee osteoarthritis increases. Another area of risk factor for knee osteoarthritis is actually genetics. Some studies have resulted in estimates of 40 to 65% of knee osteoarthritis or osteoarthritis in general being attributed to genetic factors. What they propose is that genes related to bone and cartilage formation, chondrocyte differentiation, and cartilage maintenance and function might be the ones involved. However, genetic contributions are not really well understood at this time, so it's hard to make predictions off of that risk factor. Bone mineral density, or specifically an increase in bone mineral density, can result in a two to three times greater incidence of knee OA, which may be because it's related to obesity. However, higher bone mineral density isn't yet related to a progression of osteoarthritis. Occupation is another risk factor. Occupations that require a lot of squatting or kneeling combined with heavy lifting can be those in play, something like plumbers or carpet layers or even coal miners. Physical activity is another risk factor. However, not what you think. There's no evidence that physical activity has an increased risk for osteoarthritis. There is an association of vigorous sporting activities with increased risk for osteoarthritis, but that might be related to other injuries resulting in the osteoarthritis versus the activity itself. Finally, previous knee injuries can be a big risk factor for osteoarthritis. Notably, ACL or meniscus injuries significantly increase the risk factor. And it, you should take care to note that surgical management of either meniscal or ACL injuries isn't shown to prevent the incidence of knee OA subsequently. There's also the Kelgren-Lawrence scale, which is an old scale developed in 1957, but people still use it. And so that grading scale runs from zero to three. Grade zero is no radiographic findings of NEOA. Grade one is minute osteophytes, and they may not be clinically significant. Grade two would be definite observation of osteophytes, but the joint space is preserved. Grade three is the presence of osteophytes and joint space narrowing. Definite osteophytes with severe joint space narrowing and subchondral sclerosis will be a definite knee osteoarthritis diagnosis.